The following cartoon is a light-hearted look at a really serious issue affecting the NHS. The NHS loses around £1.25 billion per year to fraud. This video illustrates one type of fraud. Did you know that providing fake qualifications is a type of fraud? This occurs when someone applying for a job claims to have qualifications they do not actually have. This is particularly serious if it occurs in senior and medical positions. David currently works as a Bantu administrator. He is looking to apply for a more senior role within the NHS. This sounds perfect. I really want that job, but I don't have the essential qualifications. Unless... Final question, do you have the essential qualifications? I certainly do. There you go. Congratulations David, I'd like to offer you the job. Getting that fake qualification was a brilliant idea. I'm earning so much more money in this job. I've just checked David's qualifications and I don't think the certificate is genuine. I knew something didn't seem right with that certificate. Report him to anti-fraud. Hold it right there. Lying about your qualifications or experience is a criminal offence. David was dismissed and had to repay all the money he'd fraudulently earned. Without a good reference, he's now struggling to find another job. Warning, the NHS loses around £3.4 million per day to fraud. Terms and conditions apply. You are free to make the risk if you commit fraud against the NHS. We'll bring you with a criminal record. You may face internal disciplinary proceedings for purposes of your dismissal. Having detrimental impact on your future career prospects. Financial recovery may be pursued from your home asset pension risk and proceeds to ground. You have been watching an anti-fraud production for Audit 1.